Hey everyone, Wentz Bitten here. So this is part two of our, what is it, my philosophical ramblings on money as a hobby content provider. Uh, just wanted to do a quick follow-up after uh, seeing a lot of the responses to my video. There's a lot of comments made on it. Uh, Vince Ventrella had it as a topic of the week, and there were a lot of video responses made to that video. Uh, overall, I think a good conversation happened. That's that's actually pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. Um, but I thought that that the different ideas presented kind of begged the question of of um, you know where am I at in terms of of um, money as a ho hobby content provider? And um, I don't know. You know, it's funny. I'll take you on a, kind of a walkthrough of it because there were some fantastic ideas posted, especially the comments uh, one guy made on my video. And I was brainstorming like, well, if I had uh, a uh, a behind the screens channel so that my public YouTube channel that all my normal stuff goes up but I had a behind the screens channel for those people that were willing to support me even if it was like a dollar a month you know but if anybody's willing to support me what would I do for them so this these are some of the ideas I had and I'll tell you up front I decided not to do it but but some of the ideas were you know um, one thing I've wanted to do is to redo my Tactica collection and and flesh it out a lot more I think I have I think I have like five Tacticas and and uh those just take a lot of work. There's a lot of thought that goes into them. And I was thinking, you know, that's that's one thing I could do is, is have a, um, a series of videos like Tacticas that were only available to people that were, that were patrons. Um, one guy, a guy suggested that I could do things like allow anybody who supports me to, um, to vote on stuff. And I was thinking, you know, you could do something like, you know, however, however much a month you, um, you're donating that is that is your vote so what army do i play for the next six months you know right now i think it's going to be undying dynasties but you know it could be these things vote on it and i don't think those are bad ideas i think that's in some ways they're fun um in some ways it feels like it's too much of a leap from where we are now as a as a as a as a group and and where that would need to be and, and that's okay i'm not trying to push us there um yeah, I thought it was fun. I've done stuff like that before a little bit where it's just if you just watch my videos and you make a comment, then you can vote. And quite frankly, uh, you know, there's really not that many votes that come in that way. So what I decided to do was was um, really just do what I'm doing now, which is still provide all my content for free on YouTube and um, just have, as Lord Tremendous says, just have a tip jar. And it's um, you can tip jar through Patreon or you can do it through uh, just my donations button. Um, you can do it through the donations button. I have people that, that do monthly contributions there just automatically. So you don't have to use Patreon uh, for the, the regular recurring thing. And if for those of you who don't want to contribute, then don't. And there's no hard feelings on my account. It, it doesn't matter to me. Um, one of the big reasons why I decided not to do hidden content or patron-only content was I was concerned that this would turn from my hobby into a job. And I'll admit that that right now, in some way, and sometimes it, it does feel like a job, um, especially uh, like I don't, like recently I have just tons of content going up. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's easily five hours a week and sometimes 10 plus hours a week um, to put up the content that I've been doing lately. Well, heck, I mean, when I put up video every day if i put five five videos a week which isn't going to keep up there's no way uh, but five videos a week imagine the time you know to play those games to travel to those games to make the reports of those games it yeah it adds up and that's fine as long as i want to do it but i didn't want to get to a point where i don't want anybody to to give me any amount of money and then expect something because then it's like oh man now there's pressure if you want to give as a way of saying thank you that's something totally different i appreciate it but it but a lot of times, if you get something directly back from it, then there's built-in expectations for, well, this is what I'm really paying for. You know, like if, if Once Bitten has a Tactica series and, and I get that because I contribute something, then really that's why I'm contributing. And I don't want that to be the case. If you contribute, I want it to be just because you want to support the channel financially. Um, so that's why I decided not to do anything like that. So it's a tip jar. If you want to tip me, fantastic. It helps. Uh, the more money I get, the more money I can do. And and that's okay. With no money, I can still do enough. So there's there's no threat of this channel going anywhere. But one cool idea that did occur to me, and this uh, kind of has a couple positive things going for it. So I, there's a, 
some manufacturers, for instance, that are trying that are supporting the Ninth Age and trying to get business from it. One of my favorites is Shield Wolf Miniatures. And Shield Wolf Miniatures contacted me and they just they didn't really say much. I said something to them like, hey, if you want me to do a promo video for you, let me know. I'm easily bought off with just a few models. And they said, well, promo video aside, give us your address and we'll send you a few models. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Send me what you got. And so they sent me some um, some models for an army that I don't have and I don't ever see me having. So one thing they sent me, I'm going to see if I can make this work, is their Valley Orc Warlord A. So it's basically a hero character for an orc and goblin army. Or a hero character, lord character, whatever. And it's the kind of thing, and I have a few things like this, that I kind of want to paint, but I don't have a use for it. <laughs> so um, I think what I'm going to do is whenever I get the urge to paint something that I have, or go out and buy something, whatever, uh, but that I don't really have a practical need for, I think I'm just going to paint it up, and show it on and show my painting progress on the channel when it's done i'm going to do a random drawing among people who donate either to, on my donation button button let's say in the last six months or through patreon and just do a random drawing and contact the winner and um, ask them if they want it and i'll just sign the bottom of it this was done by once bitten who cares and 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 ship it off to them and if you don't want it then i'll just randomly draw somebody else and send it to them i thought that might be a nice win-win it gives me a chance to say thank you back to the community for those people who are who are financially supporting me um for promoting companies like shield wolf miniatures that are willing to um to send free stuff to people like me i appreciate it and uh rather than have stuff like this just sit in a box or sit on my shelf um, i'd like to see the community to see it get painted and then uh, get sent off to somebody in the community. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That To me, it's kind of a win-win. It's kind of fun. So uh, if you want to contribute, there will always be links to my Patreon and my donations button below my videos. And um, you're certainly welcome to donate there. And if for any reason you don't feel like doing it, I want you to know that you don't have to hide that from me. <laughs> if you see me at a tournament, um, come up and say hi. I, I don't care. It's 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 um it's a wonderful community. Uh, the financial support is 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 nice but it's a different thing from just overall support that i've uh, that i've had for a long time and that i do appreciate so that's my follow-up uh, where i'm at now with the um, hobby content provider for now we'll move on i'll be thinking of uh, the topic for the next philosophical ramblings if you have any ideas please leave a comment